Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is going to be an Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial on how to bind a button to our character. Uh, the code should already be in the description below, so you can always just grab the code and move on. But if not, then let's continue. Uh, I'm using the standard C++ template provided by the engine. Uh, and so I guess the goal of this should be a quick tutorial on how do we add a button to this person. So right now we push play, we do this, we can shoot with the left trigger, uh, and jump with spacebar, etc. So let's escape out of that, and let's say we want something to happen when we push the letter F. Let's go ahead and open up our project settings, find input, and go ahead and we have our action mappings and our axis mappings. Uh, action mappings will be more for button presses, and axis mappings will be more for joysticks and mouse movement. So under action mappings, let's go ahead and uh, hit the plus sign and add an action. Let's go ahead and just call it action. Now let's bind it to a button. Uh, let's do a keyboard and I'm gonna use the F key. F is right here. There we go, everything should be saved. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. Open up your IDE of choice. Mine right now is Visual Studio Code. Um, in your character's header file, mine's under CPP uh, character.h. Under your on fire method, it should be about halfway down. Let's go just say on action. And we save that. That's all we have to do there. Now let's close out of that and open up our CPP file. There should be a bunch of binding actions already. Um, so you always bind your button presses in the setup player input component. So let's just go ahead and kind of copy one of these. So on fire, I guess we can just follow that blueprint player input component bind action instead of fire we want it to do action because that's what we created in our input settings action and we want it to do the on action method which we'll create in just a second so that's about it so we just binded it or bound it I'm not sure how to say it uh, now let's do a uh, void on action And let's just go ahead and just print the console, or print the screen rather. Engine. Add on screen debug message. And that's how it goes. I'm not sure what the parameters are. I, I gotta look them up. I always forget. On screen bug, on screen debug message. Uh, Negative one, show up for five seconds. Uh, the color can be blue, why not? Uh, actually, blue might be tough to see, let's just make it green. Green's a good default color. Uh, and the text is, uh, I am pushing the action button. semicolon and I think that should be it let's compile and see what happens okay the compile failed let's see where I went wrong uh, protected voice Oh my bad, I didn't set up. Let's do a CPP touch character colon colon. I think that should fix it. Let's check it out. All right, the compile was successful. Let's push play and see if it works. So now we're walking around the game world. Let's push F and I get a print of the screen up top. So that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.